Hello everybody, it's Catherine from Creative by Catherine and a long time since I've had a, a chat to you all. So we have, as you know, had a bit of a summer break and uh, I think we should be back to normal duties next week when the most of the children go back to school. So I've got um, a flip through for you here and I'm really loving this one it's um, one I've been working on in the, through the summer and uh, it's chunky it is chunky so let's have a look so it measures 7 by 10 and it has it's about 1 and 3 quarter spine and I mean I'm not pushing that, I could push that together but I don't want to uh, about three three that way so it's a hard knock on wood, hard cover uh, it's tied with some sari silk to keep it from flumbling about and uh, I'll just go through it with you a bit more of a, a nature themed one I th I've not done a thick nature themed one um, so that's what this is so we've got different layers as well I wanted to get different layers and textures on this so it is a, a thick card base and then on that I've layered up so it's got linen fabric and it's got some of my uh, sewn bubble wrap it's got thrill frills there uh, it's got some sewn snippet roll there, bits of cotton. This actually has, um, this is calico. And then I've machine sewn a flower on there and couched it and then coloured it in with fabric, fabric crayons. And then I've got all sorts of sewing on here. So it has got, I think this is mainly bullion knots. And it's got a big flower button in the middle. It has got a see-through. It says, dream a little dream of me. So it has got a specimen butterfly there. And you can still see through it. It's got a little dangle there with a leaf. Seen as it had got this uh, a theme of... Uh, Oh, look at this now, it won't go where I want it to. Okay. The spine is all snippet roll. It's got a little dangle there. Nothing on the back, just a really thick upholstery fabric. And this was just in the back a little card in the back. Okay. So it is three signatures. So plenty of space in this one. I'll try and lay that out of the way. Flat. Okay. So inside, um, as I say, it's thick card. The spine is strengthened with really uh, thick denim. Like this lovely brown denim I had. Uh, and then this has got a side pocket with out of Edith Holden. So there's quite a bit of Edith Holden paper uh out the book in here but it's also got some coloured vellum I think I've done coloured vellum at the beginning of each signature yes I have so coloured vellum you can just see the bird through there and also uh, there's got there is plenty of our avocado pa dyed papers in here and also um, packaging paper mixed with some um, digital prints from all over that was just at my stash and I wanted to use it up thought it would go with the um, nature theme little pocket there Collage. This is some original map. Mm. 
There's a lovely coloration of avocado papers in here. You may remember me making these on a video. Um, plenty of writing space there. Some original papers as well at the Connoisseur, which is uh, from 90, early 1900s. And um, some of them are from David's uh, Bird Digitals. This is from a really old um, book, Leaves and Botanicals. This is some old ledger. And then in the middle of this signature we have a Made With Love and a uh, silver coloured bead with um, this lovely multicoloured linen thread. Plenty of places for you still to make this your own. This is done on fabric, so this was some thick upholstery fabric that I printed on and uh, it's one of David's, that's one of Rachel's. So there's, I think some of the digitals are from uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations, there's some from Artie Mays, um, I think there's some from Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah, some from Susan Taylor Brown at Poppiness, so there's a whole mixture. Now I've got a feeling that I haven't opened this one up. I put a tab, that tab on it and shut it up, which wasn't very clever, was it? <laughs> it's open now. <laughs> And to your journaling cards and some uh, ribbon paper clips. Um, I think these were from Paper, not paper Outpost. I can't think who they were from now. Not, I'll have to put that down below. Again, that's from the Connoisseur. My favourite birds from one of Rachel's kits. Plenty of little journaling cards for you to keep in here or use as you wish. And uh, this has got a big pocket in there and a lovely big Edith Holden tag in there. This is from an old wild, this is the actual uh, part of the cover of an old wildflowers, uh, English wildflowers book. Lovely big um, card there, Edith Holden, I'll put it that way so that doesn't get, so that's the end of the first signature. Second signature, got a different vellum page from the Hobbycraft. These these vellum coloured decorative vellum are from the Hobbycraft here in the UK. So probably Hobby Lobby will have them. They're probably the equivalent to Hobbycraft here. Uh, old packaging paper as well. I'm trying to use plenty of recycled stuff. That's original paper from. Rachel probably. Looks a really old piece. Here there's a little there's a little piece of uh, hand my handmade card and it's got a little leather shutter, nice big tag there, piece of very old map. 
this is uh, one of my collaged printer print of one of my collaged papers so plenty of birds and wildlife in this one this is uh, a piece of the financial times and they uh, quite rare to get hold of this although it's 2009 they no longer print it they're no longer it's all digital now and this uh, this is very well known in the UK for being this orange colour financial times was orange like an orangey beige so it's very very difficult so I'm eking out my very small stash of it um, because as I say um, they are becoming collector's pieces because you can't get it <coughs> excuse me I thought that went nice with that eco dyed paper of David's then we've got some original music uh, score in here and it's got uh, a stamp on there so that's got an original stamp on there as well try to put a mix of uh, different papers in here so this is one of uh, my mini lunch bags it's got a pocket in there for you to put in fact let's put that in there instead of having it hanging about on the back and it's got a big long Edith Holden tag in there and uh, that's like a felt printed pocket that I did and another tag middle of this signature we have a little dragonfly and then a couple of lovely beads some collage that's the back of the lunch bag there so you've got another pocket to put things in there and you've got a big Edith Holden um, tag in there let me uh, see what I can put in got some bits and bobs here does that fit in yeah that just fits in nicely there okay this is another one of these um, trifold or the quadruple fold plenty of writing do a bit of secret journaling in there These, um, all the mushrooms and little stick-ons are from Give Smiley. Yeah, Give Smiley. And of course we've got to have Tracy Fox labels in here. So it's a whole mixture um, of things that I've liked from other artists and my own. And David's Digitals. Again, that's the back of the... Uh, and a really nice mixed collage on there back of the financial times i put some of my some more of my little favorite birds plenty of writing space if you like writing that's the back of um one of my uh, collage master boards back of that really old map it's also got some papers from Rachel so some Florentine papers in I'm eking them out I haven't got too many left at the minute that opens out Right, on here you've got an Edith Holden, little Edith Holden tag and then on the back here you've got this great big writing uh, 
space which is from one of Rachel's kits. And then we come to the last signature, that's the end of that one and then this one's got another lovely green vellum. <clears throat> is from the connoisseur again another piece that I've eked out at the financial times with collage on there then here you've got a little envelope with a journaling card inside journaling cards there opens out with some straw paper on the back again some of that really old map you can tell how old it is because it's actually got fibers on the back of the paper that you can see all those mixed fibers it's as if it's been printed onto like a type of canvas paper And then on here it's got a collage again it's got another one of our, uh, David's uh, uh, digital birds that have printed on fabric. That's one of Rachel's tags. Another journaling card there. So these that are all clipped in you know I like to clip loads of things in with these ribbon clips but you can take them out and put in other journals that you want to or keep them in or move them about wherever you'd like them that's a bit more of that really old map that's some original paper bit of collage there and a lovely bird journaling card there and one there with a lovely hyacinth on it then you've got a really old so this is part of the cover from this old connoisseur it's very fragile so that's why I've put plenty of um, collage on it but it is it says one shilling to subscribe <laughs> and then on this one we have a lovely blue bead there and a lovely multicoloured green and brown bead on that one got a thread here that's it some really old paper there again so really got a lovely mixture of papers in this one uh, this is a little side tuck with a piece of Edith Holden card and then that's from my old, uh, one of my British, old British uh, nature books back of the old map and here you've got look how lovely those colours go with the avocado I've put that's you know I've put the avocado stuff in here because I just think it sets off all the lovely birds and flowers again the back of that really old map you can hear it the canvas here we've got again some Edith Holden lovely big journaling card there I like the layering of all the different levels of the papers as well. I've tried to do like it, whichever way you turn it, you've got a nice spread. Another one of these um, hidden journaling papers. Again, 
piece of Financial Times. Gorgeous flower. Bit more from the uh, Connoisseur. And I've got some of these papers in the shop. Um, I've got some uh, old paper packs in there and they all have some of this Connoisseur um, paper in there now. 1906 I think it is, which in some ways it's not super super old um, but it's a very iconic magazine from uh, the early 1900s in the UK um, and they've got you know designs of furniture and all sorts so it's very uh, reminiscent of uh, that period and history um, just as we come to the end of the Victorian age really Again, recycled packaging, which gives you a lovely brown colour. Oh, that was in there, I think. It's just come out. Lovely Edith Holden. That's a lovely one. And I love the numbers in the corner of these. They're all backed with card. And that's the end of the last signature. And again, we have got um, a pocket and a little journaling card in there to finish it off and I've just got the maker's mark um, to put on there created by Catherine and that's all ready to go in the shop so as always my leaves come off look as always if you are interested it'll be a couple of days from this posting before it gets put into the shop and uh, so I was uh, um, you know, you've got chance to get in contact with me if you wish to purchase it before it goes in. So thank you so much for joining me. Lovely to have your company again and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.